Okay, hi guys. I am going to use the rest of the colors from the last video on another um, little wooden circle. I've gessoed it. Um, and we're going to use the same colors. So, if you want to know what colors they are, just look at the last video. At the very beginning of the last video, I tell you what colors they are. So, um, it just turned out kind of cool. So, I've got one circle left. I've got half the paint still left. So, I thought, why not? Um, the only thing I'm going to change this time is instead of starting with the purple, I'm going to start with the blue. And go from there. So, let's just jump right into it. Hopefully, we'll have enough. We'll do half the blue. This should be plenty. Half the purple. I'll jump a little more there. And then half of the black. Half of this beautiful gold. It's really thick, but I kind of. I don't know, I love it. Add a little bit more in there than we did last time. Maybe. I'm not sure if we are or not. Okay, and then the blue again. Rest of the blue. Let's get it all scraped out of there. And then last little bit of the purple. I love using these little cups. They really keep me from making way too much paint. Even though sometimes, you know, they're a little hard to use if you want to fill it up. Um, man, I have enough paint to do two little small paintings instead of, you know, three or four giant what? I don't know. It, I, I don't like doing the little stuff. It's more fun to me to do the little paintings than it is to do the really big ones. Because for the most part, they work out better. You know, I always thought I'm the only one that has trouble doing a bigger painting. But then I heard somebody else say on their YouTube channel, um, I heard somebody else say, doing bigger paintings is hard. And I'm like, yes, thank you. It, it is. So, you know, if you want to, you want to sh be sure you're going to come out with a, a, a good painting, try small first. Okay, so we have four layers of our colors. Just gonna flip that over. Let it. Ooh, that was close. It's not quite centered. <laughs> About tipped off that side. Oh, and then would have fallen into the painting next to it, and then I really would have been crying. Um, okay, so the one that is. Um, I don't think the the last one worked a whole lot more after I turned the camera off, which I'm thrilled about. To me, it just kind of looks like a planet. It's really cool, and I think I'm going to buy more of these little little circles. I really love them. Um, so if anybody knows of, like, I paid like a dollar twenty nine maybe for one of these. Um, so if anybody knows where I can get these for less than a dollar twenty nine, like on the internet, if I can order them, let me know what site you get yours off of because I'd rather order some if I can get them for cheaper. All right. Let's see what it's going to do. Ooh. Wow, it's a big mushroom cloud. Kind of cool. Wow, that looks completely different than the, than the one that came out before. Because I did the blue, just because I did the blue and the purple differently. And I think I have a little more gold in this one. Um, let me... Before I drip in there. Let me find my palette knife. I'm going to scrape the rest of this out of there for the edges. Oops. Don't do that. Okay. That's about it. Ooh, that was close. I about dripped it. Right in the center, that would have been upsetting. <laughs> but typical of me. 
Okay, let's uh, torch this. Get the air bubbles out. See, if, just give it a little heat. You can already kind of see along here. Well, I can see it. I'm not sure you can. I think my torch needs some more. Some more silicone. So let's put some more of that in there real quick while that's thinking about what it wants to do. Okay, that should be good enough. That gold is really solid along that edge. It's, it's just going to pour off anyway. This one is not selling up quite as much as the last one did. I'm just seeing lots and lots of air bubbles popping and creating little specks like snow everywhere. But who knows what it's going to do when I stretch the paint out a little bit. So I'm not going to stretch it too far. Cells are getting a little bigger. Okay, now let's take. I still have my corner catcher from the last one. I think it'll be okay to use again. I'm going to scrape some of the paint off of it though. Whoa! My little palette knife. <laughs> you can't see this, but my palette knife still had paint on it, and it caught the edge of my little corner catcher here, and it flicked paint across. And, um, yeah, I think it went, like, right in the middle of the other painting. Ooh, yeah, kind of did. But you can't tell. Okay, there we go. That should be good enough. I don't know. Yeah, that, that should work fine. All right, um, I think I really, I don't know. I, I mean, I want to save the center, so I don't think it's going to matter too much where I head with this. So I think I'm going to try and do this side first and then pour back off that way because there's not a lot of junk over here that I want to get rid of. So we'll start with that side first. Start with the side that you really want to save, I think works the best. And move slowly. Now my paints, I have really started making my paints thicker than I used to. And that may have, you know, that may be why I'm getting better cells than I used to. So that's another trick you can try, you know, if you're not, if you're not getting good cell action, maybe your paint is too thin. You know, everybody says, make it like honey, which is kind of hard to, you know, there are a lot of honeys in the world. They're different consistencies. Um, so, you know, saying it's supposed to be like honey, I, I even said that. And it, it's definitely true. But um, when you hold your when you hold your stick up and the paint's pouring off of it, it should, for me, it makes a slight indention in the paint before it sort of disappears. So, you know, if your paint's not making an in, like, gosh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I'll just have to show you one time how I do mine, um, if you're interested. Okay. I don't want to move it too much. I'm just trying to get it to kind of circle around that edge over there before I kind of bring it back. Okay. It's now it's wanting to go off somewhere else. So we're going to take that. I don't know. I don't like the way that the gold is breaking up right there, but I'm going to leave it for the moment. I don't want to upset the paint gods today because finally having a little bit of luck. Slowly off of one, uh, uh, slowly off of the other side there. And also, when your paint is a little thicker, your cells tend to stay. As long as you're doing this slowly, your t your cells tend to stay more circular. If your paint's kind of thin, then they tend to stretch out quickly. Well, this is completely different than the last one, but it's still kind of cool, I think. As long as I can keep that center stuff the way it is without making it too unhappy, it should be good.
you know, I've been doing YouTube channel for almost several months now. <laughs> I've only ever had one question. So I'm either answering all y'all's questions or you're just too shy to ask me. So if you got any questions, please ask. I'll be glad to share all my little secrets with you. Although I pretty, I think I pretty much do. I don't think there's anything that I've no, that I haven't said that y'all can't, you know, try yourself. But if there's something that, you know, you have, you want to know about, you know, a way I do something or, you know, whatever, please ask. I mean, you know, because that's what we're here for on YouTube. That's what we're here for. We're here to have fun, for one thing, and, uh, you know, help y'all. Those of you who don't have your channel yet, or might not ever have a channel because you don't want to, um, you know, we're here. I'm no expert, but I have fun. I kind of like this one. Totally different from the last one. All I'm going to do is wipe the paint off the bottom and torch it again. Make sure I get out all the air bubbles and that's going to be it for this baby. It's amazing how different they look. Just, I think really just because I changed the order, you know, I started with the I don't even know how this one's going to go. Started with the blue this time instead of the purple. And the results are completely different. Wild. All right, so I'm going to leave that one alone because if I push it any further, I'll probably destroy it. So let me, um, I got to wash my hands. I can't pick up my phone like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And, uh, you know, for those of you who are, who think I should try a bucket of water next to my chair instead of running off to my sink, it does not work. All it does is create a huge mess, or at least I create a huge mess. Okay, so let me get you down real quick before my phone dies. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to try and get through this quickly because my phone's about dead. <laughs> Um, that purple is not that bright again, um, and neither is the blue. They're not quite that bright, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what it looks like. Close up. Kind of cool. I kind of love that little cell right there. That kind of squirmy looking one. It's kind of neat looking. So, uh, over here is the one from earlier. Give you a shot of both of them at the same time. So completely different outcomes with just a switch of two colors. Pretty interesting. So, there's your pretty for today. I hope wherever you are on the planet, you have an awesome afternoon, day, evening, night. Thank you to all my subscribers. I love you all. Y'all are awesome. See you later. Bye.